All right, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Exposure Runs, the podcast. Um, as usual, we say this all the time, but we're excited to have another guest up here. Anytime guests take time out of their day, particularly on a Saturday when it's a young person, um, they wake up in the morning to to, to come out and, and, and get on the podcast and hang out with us. It's, it's always exciting about that. Uh, but today's guest is six uh, four self described combo guard. I saw that when I was looking up some shit on you. It said, I'm a combo guard. And I and I didn't know how deep your voice is now that I hear it, but now I can re- reread that in your voice, self-described. Uh, combo guard out of Limbloom <laughs> High School. Uh, most recently played with Main Street's the 17 U squad. Yes, sir. Um, and during your past junior season, you had averages of 28.7 rebounds and five assists. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So you was hooping, hooping. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, All right. Like we got Mr. Jashawn Stevenson. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Jay Sean. Jay Sean. All right. Jay Sean Stevenson. My apologies. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you for having me. For real, for real. I appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so like I was telling you off camera before we came on, you first came on my radar last year. I kept seeing shit up and down my timeline about you. Up and down my timeline. A couple people had reached out to me and um which is kind of like sending me your stuff in my DMs. And um, I seen obviously some of the other blogger sites that had reposted yourself, Prep Hoops, and some mm-hmm. of these other um, sites. Um, and right around the time where I started putting together myself and my guy, uh, Ryan Foran, we started putting together the Shot Town Showcase. We had already had a list of kids already. Mm-hmm. Um, but please believe that had any of them kids dropped out that initial <laughs> one. Um, I was definitely going to reach out, but I'm not going to make that mistake again. So if you look here on my question sheet, I had it as towards the last question, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to get this shit out the way right now and just ask, uh, can you confirm that you're going to come to our showcase on the 28th, October? I'll be there. You'll be there. I'll be there. Y'all heard it here first. All right. So now we're going to jump back (laughs) to the beginning of the fucking questions and get right into it. Um, Other than what I mentioned, tell us about yourself. Who is J. Sean Stevenson? Um... Jay Sean Stevenson. I describe myself, you know, pretty chill, laid back, but the, like driven. You know, I um, so when it comes to basketball, that's pretty much all I really think about. Um, it can get kind of psychotic sometimes, but you know, okay, that just that just what I be focused on. You know, um, I'm a um, like I said, I'm a twin. A lot of people don't know that. So yeah, yeah well we just got that exclusive. That. Yeah, I might as well, you know, let put that me, out there. Put that out there okay. to the world. I'm a twin. But you're 22 minutes younger. You said. Yeah. Okay. She 22 is my favorite number. She too. don't let me lay that down either. She, she shouldn't. Yeah. She shouldn't. Um, twin. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty simple. You know, not too much to me. Not not too much to I don't know. But just so one thing that we definitely described off air. We're gonna go ahead and put it out there. What, what what's what type of music do Jay Sean listen to? Um, Who's your favorite rapper? Favorite rapper is Nas. Okay, no, shout out to Nas. Surprising, but um, my my music variety um is very um broad. I want to say, but yeah, okay. a lot of know though Nas gonna surprise people. But like, I listen to like Lil Baby, all them. But like, man, my dad just put me on Nas, and it's like I like listening to. For some reason, it takes me back to that time, you know, just, like, listening to the lyrics. Because that's all he say, like, man, y'all don't be rapping for real. Right, right, right. So it's like, now when I listen to that, it's just like, okay, I kind of see... What he talking about. What he talking about. Okay. And I like to, like, just, you know, broaden my music taste. So, two-part question. Number one, what's your favorite Nas song? Favorite Nas song. Ooh, I would say, um, no ideas original, but, um... Oh, he a Nas fan for real. Uh, my, he a Nas fan yeah, for real. For sure, for sure. Okay, go ahead. He ain't happen. just hitting off no, the no, hits. No, no, no. It will okay. be it will be that or um um Bonjour. But it's 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 um I can't remember who's on the feature, but I remember like one day it was actually my dad's birthday. We was driving to um I can't remember what we ate at, but he was playing it. And like I was just in the back seat, just and, bumping. Like, and he had it bumping. It just like took me someplace. I'm like, man, this I never heard it before. I'm used to like, right? It wasn't like traditional like okay. rapping, but I'm like, nah, this is fire. And then the, they had the, the dude on there was singing. I was like, nah. So I be listening to that. I be listening to that before games. Okay, yeah. and, and I was going to ask that question, but before we go to the more question, what, what, what's, your, what's your father's name? Jay Sean Stevenson. Uh, oh, you a are a junior. That's yeah, right. Sure. Well, shout out to senior. <laughs> he he raising you right. Basketball yes. aside, yeah. he got that mind right. So, what does get you hyped for games? What's on, what's on your playlist when you when you vibing out before playlist, a game? Playlist, like I said, a variety. Man, I could have some like Taylor Slip, Taylor Swift. Okay. Um, but mostly mostly like you know rapping. Uh, I might turn on like a 
Chief Keep song. Okay. You know? Still from Chicago. So okay, like, of course, of course. Give me like I I need I'm gonna definitely need like some upbeat stuff to get me going. To get you going. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Um next question is uh what's your favorite subject in school? Subject writing for sure. Writing? Writing English. Okay. English, that. okay. Um But the crazy part is I'm better at math. Like hey, you might be able to teach me something because <laughs> math is like I that was my worst subject. I hated nah. that shit. I don't like math, but it's like you're good. It's like competitive thing. Like I'd be like, oh, I can't get it, so now nah, I got it. Okay, it. okay. English actually is. I think because it um challenged me more, it's like my favorite subject. Okay, but I like the um I like the whole process. Like, you know, when they be talking about like, like what like something we learn like canonization. Like I don't know if you up on that, but nah, I'm not. Like, but okay, yeah, okay, just, like, okay. Little, little stuff like that. Like ever since I was a shorty, like. Uh, English has always been like my own favorite that's, subject. That's sure. that's that's man, that's great, man. I, I I definitely love to hear that. Math was my least favorite subject. Let me tell you now, as an adult, half the math that you learn, you're not going to use. I already like know. Okay, like I go to like I realize being in school, like never going to never. use this. I'm never, like, never, never. Like, I don't, I don't, like I don't try to like you know disrespect my teacher, but what? I just be like. This is useless. I, I know what I'm going. I know what I want to do. Right. Like, you know how to count money. You I good know, to go. I know how to count. As, you're I know never, how to multiply. Very rarely, very rarely, and then and some mathematicians may, at some point, maybe see this or or mm -hmm. whatever. Because I got a lot of homies that's like really good. I got like really good at math. Like okay. like their brains just move differently. My guy Tyree, my guy Walt, um, they just their brains just move differently. But I'd say like I don't go through life. You know, yeah. trying to figure out dimensions and <laughs> you're never angles gonna go to the and all. Grocery yeah, store nah. and need y equals mx. Plus yeah, you're B. never, you're never, never. Gonna need exactly. That. All right, as long as you know that. Who's your favorite and least favorite teacher in your school and why? Oh, got me thinking. My favorite teacher for sure gonna have to be my coach. Okay, gym teacher. You know, you know, pretty much free period. Also, that was my favorite teacher because I had a, I had him like first period on some days. So okay, it was like we got blocked. So like. First through fourth one day, fifth through fifth through eight. Okay, okay. But it was it was him because I used to be working out in the morning. I can just go straight from workout, still get on the gun for my hour forty minutes in his class. So it had to be my coach. I ain't gonna say I have a least favorite teacher, but my least favorite class would have to be chemistry. I did not I did not like chemistry. And the crazy part, all my friends was in we was all in the same chemistry class. But the subject we just just couldn't get it. Nope. Like I end up, it. I end up ending with like a B, but it just like it was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. All right. What's your GPA currently? GPA. Um, I want to say like a, cause we got a different scale. We got a 5.0 scale, so it's like I want to say oh, it's okay. like a 4.4.5 or something like that. So, so Lim Bloom, you were saying is one of the schools that's uh, like a um, Sele not selective option. enrollment. Se selective yeah, enrollment. Yeah, yeah. So their curriculum is a little more complex yeah. than the traditional CPS school yeah. per se. That's what it say. I mean, I would hope so. I never been to a regular CPS school, so, so you, I, I nothing can't to commit, measure. Okay, but okay, yeah. But um, you know, you learn it. Yeah, for sure, you learn. You learn it. <laughs> okay. Um, for those that don't know much about Lim Bloom, tell us about it. Um, man, it's, a, it's actually a great school. Like, it's very diverse. Like, um, like our administrators do a great job of like keeping the um, keeping like all the races and um, ethnicities like you know together. Like, okay, okay. But um. You know, some you might not know is like put you on school. I'm gonna try to recruit y'all. Um, the um, like everybody be like, worry about the education. Mm -hmm. Like I be like, worry about the school and like I be trying to recruit some players. They be like, man, that work hard. Like yeah, they work hard, but they do a lot to help you succeed. Like you got um, doing doing your um, lunch, you can go to um, the library. Um, it's called the um, writing center. Okay. Where they got tutors that's like grades ahead that already took your took the class, so they can and so help they ready you to with help it. you out. You got. Um, you got deadlines like at other schools. If you don't meet the deadline, you you done. Mm -hmm. You got a you got two weeks to turn in late work. If you turn in your work on time, say if you don't get a good grade, you can revise it. So it's like they put stuff put stuff in your um back pocket pretty much to oh, like okay to still succeed. Like I ain't gonna say it's sweet, but you got a chance. It, if the only and then it's like with the grading system, the only way you can fail is like you just don't come to class. Right, 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 right. Like the way that it's set up. The like way you, it's set you, up. You are gonna fail if you don't come, but if you come, you're you're going you're, to pass. You you at least going to pass. So like when I if you see somebody failing, it's like you're not applying yourself because they put all these avenues and stuff to help you succeed. So speaking specifically to that, when you talk about when the kids aren't coming to class, they gonna fail. I mean, I mean it's just a given. Yeah. 
do you have anybody in your circle that you've had to kind of like yo like like oh, what, yeah, for like, sure. like what is you doing bro it was um, on or off the basketball team on I, both but like I'm most definitely going to be on the guys on the basketball right, team right. for because it, it was some guys that like we need you bro like mm-hmm. you you taking it for granted but it's like nah bro like this ain't just about you we need you like this ain't just about right, right. oh you don't want to go to class like we need you to go to yeah, class. yeah we need you to go to class and it was like you just not applying yourself i see if you're not getting it but apply yourself so like i just tell them like like bro if i'm doing it come on bro you can do it and it was like a young shorty i'm like bro i, I do this i work out every day i'm still going to class i you know how did he receive that he was like he was like cool but i know, i mean i, I also like to say i like to, i know how to talk to people got you, got i know you. how to make people like receptive of what i'm saying like i just like break it down like come on bro like you don't want to be that guy that's super talented but can't get into the school because mm-hmm. your grades and mm-hmm. like and that happens a lot yeah so it's like you don't want to be that guy and you like like i said the school give you ample opportunities to not be that person mm-hmm. as far mm-hmm. as like school and so i'm like nah just go to class would you say would you consider yourself and would you say that you are a or the leader of your team oh yeah for sure okay um one of them like i feel like it's another group of another senior you know other seniors that's like do a great job of leading even even like some some people that don't even like play like they just they just have good leadership okay. qualities okay pretty much reason why they on the team but yeah I, I feel like i consider myself one of the leaders but like it's like kind of that role you just when you being when you good it's like you kind of being right naturally right, right. Like you have no choice but right to right but right. i like I took it head on. I was like, okay, I got to be example for the. I'm glad you know. said that because, like, when you are good, you're, you're going to. There's no gray area. You're either going to be good and not be one of the leaders of yeah. the team and kind of like fuck up the chemistry of the team, mm-hmm. or you're going to be good and you're going to embrace that role. Oh, yeah, like, there's sure. no middle ground there. Uh, would you agree with that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. 100%. Okay. Um, as your status among the, your basketball peers um, has risen, has other high schools made attempts to get you to transfer? Oh yeah, for sure. You want to name those schools? Um, <laughs> I named the one everybody okay. assumes Simeon. Okay. Um, but to be honest, my mom is a she's a tough one. Okay, it's so like nah, that's but, the reason I am in Lindblom. So okay. it's like the only other place I probably would end up was Whitney Young, as far as that's meeting basketball and academics. A- academics. Cause she not, she not, she ain't going just for basketball. Not going. She don't care how many NBA players came out of Simeon. Don't matter. She don't, if she ain't like the way that education looking, she not going. That's great that you said that. Shout out to your mom. All right. <laughs> because that's kind of where we were, not kind of, that's exactly where we were at with Xavier. Yeah. You know, his freshman through junior year, he was uh-huh. at Marist. Uh-huh. Um, and then we transferred him to Oak Lawn. Now, yeah. coming off of his junior year, Xavier had a little stats. We could have sent him. Well, we really could have sent him anywhere based from his um, going into his freshman year. Yeah. But us not being from here, w- academics has always led our family. Like, basketball aside, like, at yeah. some point, like, and, and of course he didn't. He got injured. Let, let, so let's say Xavier got injured, like, you know, on in his sophomore or junior year into college. He might have been an NBA prospect or whatever. Uh, that education would have become paramount. Yeah. Um, when we decided to transfer him from Maris, we sat down and we made a list yeah. of schools that we allowed him to make his own list. Mm-hmm. And then me and his mom just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you ain't going there, fuck that school. <laughs> you ain't going there, fuck that school. Yeah. So, yeah, like it's academic. Been, like, with mine, like, as far as, like, high school, mine been crazy, to be honest, because, like, 7th, 8th grade, don't nobody really care about 7th yep. grade. I'm, I'm taking that. And actually, we was, ended up, we was good. Like, we finished, like, in the final four of the um, okay. city. Okay, okay. Like, my seventh grade year, so you know, eighth grade year, that went past COVID and all that. So then I was supposed to be going to Bogan. Um, if you're familiar, yeah, with I'm Go- very familiar with, with Goody before yeah. he passed. Yep, yep. So then I was working out with them, all that. Once again, my mom was like, I don't care how good their basketball program is, like, what's up with this education? Now, you know, that didn't fall into fruition. So then I stayed at Limbo, and when Goody passed, like, it was just like, dang, like, did I dodge a bullet? Like, mm-hmm. my, was my mom, like, was she on or something? So mm-hmm. it was like, I mean, it says that he passed, but it was like, that had me thinking. So that had me thinking going to, like, do I want to just leave and jump? Then the next year, my sophomore year, I ended up starting on varsity. So it was just like. Might as well just ride it out. Might as well just ride it out pretty much. And then it was kind of similar this year, but it was like, yeah, like, ain't nobody finna turn down Simeon. But then it was like, always in the back of my mind, like, what that situation that had happened mm-hmm. like also the ball gonna stop dribbling what about the education i was just like plus it was like we gonna be good this year anyway so i just shout out well to your mouth now what conference is uh lemon little man we're in the red south you're in the red south yeah. i didn't so know that that's was, a tough ass conference. Last, last year was our um first year back because like we got a like we pretty much known for like being good 
too good for the white, but got you, not good. good enough for the red. So like my eighth grade year, we was in the red. Okay. But I, you know, I, I can't play. I'm just watching. So I see, I saw them like go against Adam Miller, mm-hmm, go against mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Black Cat, all them. But like they was getting smashed. Like they went all nine. But the previous year they went nine to zero in the white. That was the same thing. Like my sophomore year we went nine to zero. Everybody was like they gonna finish last in the conference. Mm-hmm, they gonna do this mm-hmm. and third. So I took it also like I didn't leave because I took that as a challenge. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. Dang, like that's how y'all feel. Like we, right. we can't win. A, we can't win a game. In that conference, yeah. I was so how did y'all? And, and forgive me for not knowing. How did y'all do cool. this past we year? Up, I won us. We was we was fifth, but we was tied. We was tied with. It was like I want to say Simeon. You know Simeon had Parker Kim was it three? Mm-hmm. Phillips was fourth. We was fifth, and Perspectives was sixth. But it was like me, us, Phillips, and um, Perspectives was all tied. But the re, the um, the seed didn't happen because we beat Phillips and Perspectives beat us. So even though we all tied, Phillips was fourth. We was fifth. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Um, playing in the Red South, like it's some, it's some. Obviously, the schools that you named, the, the schools that's known. Yeah. H- how were those battles? Man, they clapped us for sure. Like, <laughs> like, but it was like it was a great learning experience to be honest. Because like, a lot of people can't. A lot of people not gonna hide like, like the minutes and the like learning experience that mm-hmm. we had. Like we was young. Like we had two soft. My sophomore year was. Two sophomores started. Okay, okay. So it's like we've been like you know, picking up little things and little things on that. So, but like yeah, they of course they got more time than us. Like we wouldn't expect to win no games. Like when we played Simeon, we up until like three minutes left. That was probably the best game. Up until three minutes left, going to that is probably the best game we ever played together. Like it was we we had took the lead twice. We were just clicking. So like. The experience is yeah. What the kind the of experience took is over. like the experience is like got me looking forward to this because like okay now like. Those guys are all seniors. We are returning. And that was mostly all the teams that like, right. we played, right, whether right. we beat them or not. Like, they started five as seniors. That's how sh- we should be next year. But it's like, don't. Like, we always used to be like, let's not make the same. Let's not lose the same way. Let's let's not. Okay, if we if we lost because we don't got as many players as them and we trying to play like we do, like run and gun, run mm-hmm. with them. Mm-hmm. Like, no, nah, you got you to gotta be smart. You got to like, pace it out. Yeah, right, you, right. you can't, you can't right. just do that with the super talented team. So, like, we'd just be like – Because they not, got more depth than y'all. Let's, yeah. not, let's not do that. Let's not um, lose the same way. Like, at least learn from learn from losing. Okay. So, that okay. was, I figured our um, biggest thing, like, we, we got we got way more experience now. That's, that's, that's good to hear. So, what, what is your relationship like with your coach? Do you have the autonomy to, like, have your voice heard? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, okay. Our coach is there and they're like – Come, he came in my sophomore year, like my freshman year. Um, you know, I had a different coach anyway. Like, he just like a real cool dude. Like, outside of like the X's and O's, like mm-hmm, you can call mm-hmm. him for anything. Like, okay. my dad was at work, coach. He picked me up in the airport, like mm. little stuff like that. Like, he just he just on it. He always like okay. always on time. You know, like so it's like it's more like a um. Like he like my granddad or something. <laughs> okay. Like, you okay. Know, you know, older. You know, like an older you. older figure for me. But it's like. But it, and the dope part is he not just like that with me. Like it don't matter like what your status is. He's on, on the team. Team, you can go. You can talk to him. You chat with him. And That's he's good just to hear. Super, super cool. Dude. That's good to hear. I'm um, talking about the, the the whole transfer thing. Like, what's your thoughts on the high school transfer? Um, man, honestly, honestly, it it could go either way. Like, okay. I don't like I don't like when it's like, all right, bro. Like, this like the number one team. You finna go join them? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nah. Like I always, I'm always a fan of competing. Like I always rather lead my team to the prom, promised land. Right, 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 right. Have then, that status. Yeah, then go on. You know, just being on a good team. Like mm-hmm. I like the upset. Like my favorite, my favorite player for the longest, Damian Lillard. Like I always respect him because, mm-hmm. like, he ain't just easy to go jump the gun. Mm-hmm. You know, right, I mean that's about to happen probably. But yeah, but I get you. I but mean, like, you can only wait for so, so long. long got man. you. Like, but it's like that. He out. Like you know, up to this point, like he always just like you know rolled it out, stuck it out, and I just. I took that on from an early age. I don't even know why, but it just like it kind of like him being my favorite player. I watch him. It just kind of like took on as my personality. Like nah, that like, David versus Goliath. Yeah, so it was just like I kind of would rather like lead my team because like why not? Like why does this? Why why did these got to be the per se person just get to right get to be that be that? Guy? When we was having that conversation with Zay, that was a part of my pitch to him. Like you can go anywhere, you can join any team, but I would rather you instead of joining. A machine, I would mm-hmm. rather you be the machine. I would rather you go somewhere where the opportunities um, to, you know, to kind of shine are yeah. a little bit brighter um, as opposed to you kind of joining someone else's spotlight. Mm-hmm. So, and shout out to the schools he went to. I mean, I, I have my 
personal whatever towards Maris, um, his <laughs> freshman through uh, sophomore year. Um, with the previous coach, the coach that came in his junior year, you know, I, I always felt like I need to kind of explain a little bit because I, I, I've been getting on Maris a, a lot. I feel mm-hmm. like his first his first uh, freshman and sophomore year. Well, keep in mind his sophomore year was COVID, so okay, I can't yeah. I can't I can't really get too that. too much. However, like I just feel like we should have did something different. But mm-hmm. academically, regardless, re- regardless yeah. of the basketball, how I, academically, mm-hmm. I feel like my wife and I, we made the best decision. Is our boys' school? No, it's not. It's okay. a good school. So it's one of them, like, Catholic? Mm-hmm. Um, Catholic co-ed. Uh, co-ed schools, yeah. Um, and then we decided, uh, you know, when he left his junior year, he went to Oak Lawn, and I just felt like, I, you know, Coach Rhodes and, and his staff and just yeah. the school itself was something that we just really felt was, it just fit what we yeah. were looking for. I played him in Summer League. Did you? Are you familiar? We played them at the, you know, they be having a little Oakland. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. Played them. we played them last year. Last year, right? Yeah, he tried to, he tried to dunk on me. And what happened? It didn't, it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Well, I, I he, do. But he, he tried to try me though. It was, it was funny. <laughs> I gotta go back because I record all those games. I'm gonna go okay, back and look yeah. at that when we, when we do, when we do the the post production. It is. I'm gonna try to make sure you put that in there <laughs> to, to see what that looked like. Yeah, um, tried to catch me. Okay. Um, describe this past school season academically and um, basketball wise, successes and failures. Academically, up until AAU, I was, I was pretty much good. The one that when that like you know with the EYBL, we mm-hmm. was leaving every we was leaving Thursday, night, Friday morning, so I wasn't I was missing a lot of Fridays. And then it was a it was a span where it was like, um, I'm like the first session, so I didn't go to school that Friday, and then we missed our flight. Mm-hmm. So I missed like Monday. I didn't come back to school Tuesday, and then I was gone again, back again Friday, Friday for the right, next right, tournament. Right, right, right. So that was like you know reoccurring, and um, I was still on top of my work uh, for the most part. But like I did kind of fall behind. Also, like um, I did, I went on prom this year. So it's like I okay. missed, I missed a few days because of like um, I was getting ready for prom, mm-hmm, like. Mm-hmm. The time I would have had as a senior, like they out of school, but I was still in the school getting ready for prom. Got so you, it was got like you, got you. prom, and then the next day I had to go to an EYBL. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it was like I just I missed a um, few days because of that, and um, so I fell behind. But then I had I pretty much just talked to my teachers and explained to them, and they like I said, like they put a lot of stuff in your corner to like help you succeed. So they was very understanding. I had to do a little extra credit work, but I ended up finishing with like A's and B's. So. How, how do you think that moment or that experience is going to prepare you for college? Because if, um, if you if you're going to the goal, obviously, is to go to college. Yeah, for sure. And then the hope is that you get an opportunity to play at a Division One school or just any school. Mm-hmm. But the travel, how did that prepare you for that? Um, by far, this or the, did it? It prepared me for sure because I told I even told like my barber and my dad like this is by far the most I travel. Like usually I used to be excited to I'm like man, I'm just I'm happy to like wind down for a little bit because right, right. probably was at home for like ten days on the like for the whole summer mm. just off of like traveling camps. Um, like I said, I had a family reunion, so um, it helped me with it helped me with that because like even at the school like they not they not like the teacher that's like your mom and your dad where they own you. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, make sure you listen, make sure you listen. Mm-hmm. And they give your due dates and that's the end of it. Mm-hmm. But like like um so it helped me like, okay, like you gotta be more cognizant in your time. Like if you know you know that you're not gonna be here Friday, try to get that Friday work done before you leave. Right. Because, so you right. won't be behind. Like right. don't don't be like, oh don't then, wait till then Friday I used, or Monday. Then I used to lie, I used to lie to myself. I used to like bring my computer. <laughs> I used to bring my computer to the um to like the tournaments and stuff. Thinking like, oh, that you gonna jump. Oh on? yeah, when we yeah after the game I'm gonna do my nah I wasn't, nah. So I was just like just be more <laughs> just be more condescending of your time. That's what I say as far as um the schoolwork. Okay. And um yeah that's pretty much it. Like I fell behind about about in two classes, but they end up letting me um do the, do extra work to um get my grade back up. Okay. Um, you originally played with Y and R, correct? Yeah. All right, and then this AAU season, you played with Mean Streets. Why sure. the switch? Um, it was more like a me thing. Like, man, Y and R was great. Like, to be honest, like I feel like that transition from like my sophomore year, like averaging twenty in the white, to my junior year, averaging close to thirty in the red, was because of Y and R. Like, like I like I even told my Mean Streets, like I always struggle playing with other good players because I'm called a limbo. So mm-hmm. I'm used to being the man, the, the man, right? Right. So it's like when AAU comes around. Well, like I've been playing AAU for a while, but like when AAU like is really a thing, like mm-hmm. six, 15, 16, 17, 
I always struggle because I got to get used to like fitting in with other good players mm -hmm. that can do just as much as you or might even be more better. right so with why not my 16 my 16 year um like I had sprained both of my groins so then I came back I was coming back you know because I'm like I don't want to lose my starting spot right, 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 so right, I right. came back the first tournament even though I wasn't ready so then I fell fell behind um I wasn't starting no more but um so I end up so mind you we practiced with the 17s. This is when Caden and Ahmad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just took the chance, like, I'm going to just guard them every day. So I was just guarding them, picking them up full court every day. So I ended up being, like, a defensive guy. Okay. So once, like, I started to get back playing time and getting, you know, back when I feel for the game on the defensive end. Then it was, like, one tournament is, like, I got back to myself. Like, I was shooting, like, 60% 60, 60 from the free on, like, 50% from the three. Okay. Like, it was, like, at the speech tournament. Ever since then, like, I had took off as far as, like, you know, being two-way player defense oh, mm -hmm, and, you mm -hmm. know, back to, like, scoring and stuff. But, like, that that experience of, like, them, like, getting me, like, to, like, do something different. Because it was, like, I, I feel like if I wouldn't um, challenge myself, I probably would have just been on the bench because it was, like, they ended up being a team, but they most definitely got some hitters all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then – Switching to this shit, like, uh, with Coach Jay from while now, like, he was talking to me, like, man, like, you know, of course he wanted me to stay. But then, like, I was thinking about because I'm, like, on the loyalty side. Like, that's, right, right, I'm, right, right. right. I'm, and I'm and not, Jay Brim is a, you know, he's a supporter of the yeah, platform. Yeah, for sure. So, Good guy. I just saw him the other night. So um, so I was, like, thinking about it for a long time. But then it's, like, I mean, I had to just keep it a buck. Like, I'm probably not going to have the opportunity to play against the top guys with why not like I would with Mean Streets. Okay. Now, I can, I can go into – I can go – Turned out Mean Streets Like everybody Most people was like The nature was like Oh is you Are you gonna play Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Politics mm -hmm. Or I could've been like No I'ma just Figure it out Because mm -hmm. I need to I really had to I really needed to prove to myself That I can Play yeah, with, play. Play with those, The mm -hmm. high level mm -hmm. guys Or who they say high level So Doing that Like That was my biggest thing I was like I, I This really This my last year AU, I gotta It's like gotta now, show. It's now or never mm -hmm. So like Man, playing with them, it was like it was ups and downs for sure because like my, this is my first year. Like I started, but this is my first year on the EYBL, and like they would just like they used to just try to like encourage me, like bro, like you doing good, like like you know I'm coming from averaging thirty to like that ten points. I'm kind of like I'm, you, you're not doing enough. Nah, yeah, but it's like yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah. It's levels. So like once I learned that like bro. Averaging 12, 13 on this team is a big difference. Uh, is a right. big deal, and it's like once I learned that, like I right, playing your role because everybody got a role. Like once again, I got better with playing against, but be playing with better players. So like, and then also I got to see the the cream of the crop. Right, 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 so right. So I was like, okay, um, all right, this is what I need to work on. Like, okay, these guys is like the biggest difference is athleticism. Like mm -hmm. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm nowhere near as athletic as those guys. So I was like. Okay, if I ain't gonna be athletic as them, I gotta be smarter than them. I gotta have, I gotta, you know, you gotta separate yourself. Right. But like, the, yeah. The, um, another thing was like, every team got footage. Like in the city, like it ain't really no footage like that, especially now. Mm -hmm. Sound that the um, Twins is gone. Right. But and the EYBL. Yeah, EYBL. Every like every game is like, like I was I was never worried about my man. Like I'm getting past my man, but like the first the first few like it took me a minute. Like bro, they beat my stuff. Like swatting like because because it's like bro, these are like top. Mm -hmm. Five five big, so it's like the biggest thing I learned was like okay that that's now that prepared me for college the most like alright bro you got to get a floater you got to get something that's just as good as getting past your man mm -hmm. and getting the layup. What's your what's your next bag of tricks? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like okay you were you get past your man I right, keep your man on your back get to a two foot floater and that just that just got to be good as a layup. So okay, that was the biggest thing that I learned um, playing with them for sure. Um, what would you say is the major difference between playing with a grassroots team like YNR and a shoe sponsor team? Um, shoe sponsor for sure, exposure. Okay. Because like, even even just by the gear, like okay, you gonna like okay, we sponsored by Nike, you gonna get stuff Nike, Nike this, Nike that. But mm -hmm. the um, I say the biggest difference was like that platform that they put you on and like, but it, it was up to you to um, you know, show up. That was the biggest difference because I feel like I feel like still that YNR got players that could play on that team. Mm -hmm. Like they got they got the guys, but I just think it's you know it come down to like fit and all that. So that the biggest difference was just like you know the name to okay. be in the same way like 
it is with Limbo and Simeon. Right, 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 right. It's name, just a name, yeah. The name is gonna be more. And it holds a track. little more, whatever. Oh, and, and 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 shout out to Jay. Like I said, shout out to Jay Brown. He's a he's a supporter of the platform. I saw him the other night. Um, he's doing a great job with those guys. Um, mm-hmm. with with the opportunities he he's providing them. So you know, I just wanted to kind of like hear from somebody who has played on both sides oh, yeah, of the coin. Sure. Um, when you talk about both those organizations, uh, I'm going to assume Ty Streets was your coach for me. Yeah, Streets. Ty uh, what's the difference between him and Jay Brim? Uh. And how do their um, coaching styles differ? So, keep in mind, like I didn't um, have Coach Day as a coach for that much because I was sixteen. Got you. So it was my coach was um, Mike from um, Perspectives. But oh yeah, when yeah. Coach Mike, Day Mike coached, Smith, right? Yeah, when yep. Coach Day coached us. He was more like he. They was kind of similar, but I just say Coach Ty just took it way up a notch. <laughs> like as far as like that man is like crazy, but it's like it's all out of it's all out of good intentions. But like it show you how much he care. Like the littlest thing, the littlest thing, like he gonna be on you about it, but like. Um, I just took it as like, bro, like, if I can deal with this, then like, they say college is gonna be worse, but it's like at least it's preparing me a little bit because mm-hmm. like, I mean, he doing it out of love anyway. Mm-hmm. Like he won't be saying that when he stops saying something to you. That's when you. That's what you're worried. Yep. So like, he was on me, but it was like it was all out of good, and I feel like I became a, just a better player overall um, with it. But like Coach Jay was the same. It was just Coach Jay. Coach Jay was like just more laid back, cool, but like it, mm-hmm. he'd have his moments too. But yeah, it was just I say Coach Ty was just Coach Jay time to ten. So so first off, shout out to Ty Streets and Jay Bram. Ty Streets, let me tell you my my whatever with with, with Ty, I don't I don't know him personally, and mm-hmm. I and, and I'm definitely trying to get him up here on the podcast. So Coach Streets, when I tag Mean Streets and you see this, sir, we would love to have you up here. But here's my whatever to Ty Streets. I knew Ty Streets, so I don't know if you know I'm, I'm from Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Ty Streets, I knew of him mm-hmm. from college football. Oh, yeah, 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 I was a, when I tell you, a huge Michigan everything fan, basketball mm-hmm. and football, right? When I was coming up and, you know, first of all, I wasn't, I wasn't shit in basketball. I was, <laughs> I was one of the role players, but I, I, I'd bust somebody's ass in football. Okay. Football was my whatever. You couldn't tell me I wasn't going to Michigan. Like, until I found out Michigan was like one of these – Horrify, high ranking, but like just even the enrollment process is like very strenuous. Mm. Before I found out all of that, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm too dumb for that. You couldn't tell me I wasn't going to Michigan. Michigan was like, I'm, I'm going there. But I used to watch Tosh Streets in football. He was used to bust people ass in mm. football, bro. So I, so then when I moved to Chicago and I found out the whole correlation between Mean Streets, Ty Streets, and all yeah. that, I had no idea. Yeah. I, I had no idea. I really like got up on Tosh Streets this year too. And yeah. then they was telling me about the football. Like I actually, I'm bogus. Like he been my coach for a while. I still ain't. I still ain't looked up no highlights. So I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna do to. that. I'm gonna do that for you sure. You need to. You need to. But, that, um, that was. That's how I knew of Ty. Like. Yeah. And when I used to watch him in football, based off of how he became, which is kind of crazy to me, like how he became such a, a Thornton and with me, she's like a yeah. like a, a great basketball coach. I got schooled by some of the OGs here. Like, no, nah, Ty used to be like a two sport athlete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the man he in told basketball. Me that, like, yeah. yeah, I knew that. Like, he was um like in, in high school, he was playing basketball. He was good at basketball too. Yeah, and um, every time I ran into him, he always showed love. I mean, he knew who Xavier was. So I used, you know, I'm I'm Xavier's father. So it was like, <laughs> I ran into him one day at a, at a hotel at a at a uh, tournament, and you know, just kind of sparked up a conversation with him. And he was very polite, very yeah. you know, just kind of like. A real nice guy, so I'm definitely would love to get him um, on the show. Um, now that your AAU career is over, what are your honest thoughts of the entire AAU scene? Um, I feel like it's dope. Like you, you can really like you can change your you can really change your life in the summer. Like it just I feel like that's the like biggest thing. Like yes, politics and all that type of stuff is a thing. Like it's gonna be like certain players. It's like oh you'll see them like oh this who they say like the mm-hmm. guy, but it's like also I didn't see them like benefit like benefit people like i just seen people oh like he was unranked like in his city in his state and then now he's like top one in his class mm. so like, i feel like you being able and then also like coming from my dad like he always tell me like bro like y'all kind of got it good because when we was growing up it's hoping like we couldn't see the person in charleston over there like mm-hmm. that was super raw mm-hmm. so it's like now it's like i feel like this far you can like really measure your measure yourself with Everybody across the country because of the AAU circuit, so it's like it's kind of like that's the benefit for, of it for sure. Th- that's the one regret I have as a father. Um, maybe I shouldn't call it a regret. Is that I should have been a little more open to allowing Zay play 
with one of the EYBL, excuse me, with one of the EYBL mm-hmm. teams. Um, I always kind of ha- held on to like I want him to be the spotlight. I yeah. didn't want him to kind of share too much spotlight. And so I do think that had I allowed him, and then some, some circumstances kind of happened because he was playing with the Wolves at one point, and he had an opportunity to play with the Fire. Um, just some stuff that I had saw with, and we just had Mike up here, so 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 I want to be careful. I don't want to diss the Fire, but just some stuff I had saw at a practice that I took Zay to, uh-huh. and it didn't have much to do with the Fire per se, but just like with anything in life, whether it's college basketball, high school basketball, it'd be way too many unnecessary hanger owners. Yeah, and so when I took him to this practice, I just didn't really like the environment. Energy. And it was when Adam was there. I took him to a practice, and Adam showed him love. And they played. He, I thought he played pretty decent. He, you know, still needed to bulk up a little bit, but I didn't like that environment, the energy. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, nah, I don't really want him around that type of shit. So we just kind of decided to take a different path. But I do wish I would have kept. I would have allowed him to uh, do that just based off of the mindset, like just measuring yourself against some of the better players. Yeah. And he has some great, you know, Zay, you know, he did his thing. So like, you know, where he is now, you know, I'm pleased. And so like, but you can't help but to wonder the what if. Yeah. You know that's what, I mean? what I, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, man, like, okay, if I do play, well, I'm always going to think about what if like mm-hmm. I didn't, what if I saw it through just to see where I'm at. And that, like, I can honestly say that, I'm confident in my game enough mm. to like okay, okay he might be better, but it's because it ain't nothing. I it's not, it's not something that I can't help myself and benefit myself. Okay, right. like I learned like okay, yeah like you averaging you averaging thirty in your city, but you see the difference with averaging thirty in your city and averaging thirty on that type of level is you not gonna get no layup every time. Mm-hmm. So like that type of that type of stuff was the like. If I didn't do it, it was kind of like that's what my what if would have came from. But by me doing it, I learned I learned so much even through like okay my struggles of um not not playing to my so called potential mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in um in, in certain games. So. Okay, um, what has been what has been your best moment on and off the court? Uh, just period and period best moment on the court probably is my. Uh, I may not be like, you know, thinking about all the time. But I want I really probably want to say this year city playoffs when we um when we beat Morgan Park or just probably like the whole city playoff um run we had like um like my my sophomore year um we lost to Lincoln Park the first round so and I'm like I'm also like I'm 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 in tune with like you know the basketball talk so I'm like you can't really like I was going I was in my, my junior year first game playoffs Morgan Park we beat them in the regular season but it's like nah like it's different like er, like it's go you either go home just go home now so it was like my whole thought was like bro you can't be one to be considered one of them guys and you can't get past the mm-hmm. first round I, they talk about that in the league but it's more like this this might be city but like it's true like right like how competition you, you is that good. You can't yeah. get past you can't get past the first round. So I was like really I was stressing about that game um a lot. We end up winning. I probably had like twenty seven, like eight blocks. Like mm. so I end up, you know, we end up winning then like we end up losing it to um North Wandale by like six. And I had like forty three. But like mm. those took oh I know what it was. Best moment was actually my sophomore year. Um we played Dunbar and it was like we was eight and oh and they was eight and oh. And it was like whoever win, pretty much they going to the red. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, my thing was, I don't want to leave Limbloom, but if we don't go to the red, I gotta leave. Like, mm-hmm. so it's like that's gonna be some changes. So like, I promised, I was like, sophomore year, like, I'm not sleeping. Like, we played them on a Thursday. I won't forget. I didn't sleep Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Tuesday or Wednesday night, and Wednesday night it was like two in the morning, and um, I was like. Well, I'm stressing, twisting, turning to sleep. I just went to went to their film, like went to Dunbar film. So like I went to their film, start watching their film. I pro- I still got it in my notes of just like Dunbar, like the stuff they do. And it was like because I didn't want to lose that game because I knew what it what it meant for me. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna have to leave my friends, mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. So when we when we pulled that game, like I was calling out their plays, uh, like and I got my first I got my first in game dunk against them too. Mm-hmm. So it was like I feel like that was the best moment as far as like okay like. This this kind of like writing my own path because like I can be the guy limp bloom in the red, but like if I if I don't win that game, ain't no they probably don't know about like the twenty seven point eight points per game at limp bloom. So so I'm listening to you tell that right. Yeah, 
I, I kind of got chills a little bit because I, I don't even know if you realize what you did for yourself in that moment. Like you really kind of began setting yourself apart from your opponent. Like most people your age don't take film seriously. Most yeah. people your age, they don't really take that that competition and that level of um, not just detail, but like you want something so bad. Yeah. And you know, and 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 you kind of know what the possible outcome yeah. is going to be, and you don't want that. So you're doing everything, everything. you can to make sure that that outcome does. A, that's yeah. very, I'm not gonna lie. I'm listening to you tell that, and that shit is actually pretty impressive, nah, bro. Nah, like, man, I like when I say I couldn't sleep, but like, I'm I like I'm a sophomore, but I also know, like, bro, like, junior, like, you know, they really be like your junior year is like kind of your your most mm-hmm. important year. Mm-hmm. So it's like my junior year, I'm gonna go to a new school. Right, right, like, right. You didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I'm just like, bro, like, it's one game. Like, just pull it out. Like, no matter what you got to do, just pull it out. And I'm putting all myself, I'm putting all that pressure on myself as a sophomore. Like, I'm trying to do whatever I got to do to just, you know. That's, that's you pretty know? impressive, bro. Yeah. Like, and honestly, that really should definitely set yourself apart, really. So, any college coach watching that, I can guarantee you, and we're going to make that a real, by the way, right? I can guarantee you when a coach sees that. Yeah. That's going to impress them thoroughly. I can guarantee you that. Mm-hmm. Um, scout yourself. What, who is who is Jay Sean the player? Myself, like tight, all that type of stuff. The whole the whole nine. Give yourself um, a scouting report. I give myself a scouting report. Um, simple but effective um, combo guard. Could work on good catch and shoot shooter, but could work on his off the dribble. Sh- off okay. The, off the dribble shot. Off the dribble three point shot. Um, Rebounds very well for a guard, and um, has a potential to p- have the potential to be a lead defender. That would, that would be my. This is by, if you if, if people are keeping count, this is number four of the players that we've had up here that have spoken about their their defense, and that's really impressive. <laughs> um, what is a college coach getting um, in um, Jay Sean? Anywhere I go, like I'm just like just me being me, like I'm kind of like I feel like I'm gonna be a wild card, like like. You know what you gain, but it's like the potential, like the cap of me is like it's it's not gonna be like nothing to even like you can even imagine because like that's how like serious I am like. And then I come from my dad though, like he always like he wasn't the person to tell me like oh no nah, like as far as like pros like oh the the statistics and all that like it's it's very small like he was always like bro like if they can do it why well, can't you? So mm-hmm. it's like but all you gotta do is apply yourself and work. Mm-hmm. You gotta you gonna have to outwork people. So I was like, that's what I um, I think a college coach is gonna give like a, a workhorse for real. Like, mm. I feel like if you can, if you put me in front of, you put me in front of like, no matter where I go, if I give me a chance to play against the top schools, the top schools, then I'm a um, I'm a like I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do that for myself, like okay. whatever is needed. So I was like, I feel like they're just gonna get somebody that's like truly cares about the game for real because like if if I'm not if I'm, if I'm not playing good. I don't really feel good, like just in general, because okay. it's like, and then I also don't get like if like if I'm not playing good, and then there's like other people around me that's on my team that's not playing good, we losing, mm-hmm. and you smiling because like what's the smile about? Like, like we be on the we we had a tournament and we lose, and it's like, and we laughing and you just, y'all laughing, you just back yeah. back to the regular schedule program. I'm like nah, like I ain't out to waste no time. Like mm-hmm. so it's like that's my biggest thing, like bro, like you just gonna any any college coaches don't get somebody that's like. Super, super dedicated to their craft and and going to work for whatever they um for whatever I want. To be honest, like whether I whether I'm coming off the bench, I'm gonna find a way to start. I'm gonna find a way to you know I'm gonna find a way to just be me. Like to be honest, like okay, I feel like I can just I can go anywhere and I can do that. Okay, that's pretty impressive, man. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, how much does rankings mean to you? You're currently ranked 22 by Prep Hoops. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. What what. Do you pay attention to that stuff? Yeah, for sure. Because like at the end of the day, like okay, like that's that's as far as like separation. So it's like that's another thing. Okay, I'm 22. Uh, like it was a time like before the season ended, like you know later on the season, like after I had averaged all the 30s, like all the 30, 40 point games, I was like 68. And um, I was kind of like I was I screenshot and sent it to my dad. I'm like, bro, like can you believe it's like. Like what's what's going on? Like mm-hmm. what's it's something I'm missing. So he's like, but don't worry. He's like, don't worry about mm-hmm. all that. Just mm-hmm. add mm-hmm. more fuel to the fire. Like one thing you should be happy about, like bro, like <laughs> you rank coming out of limbo. Mm-hmm. So it's like, 
So he was like, he was just find, he was like, find the positives and and like the so called negatives. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I mean, yeah, the rank is it. It means it don't. It means something, but like it's not like the end of the world. And also, like I take it as a chance. Okay, like you got twenty one people in front of me. I'm most likely gonna there line, go, I'm gonna go line up. I'm I'm gonna most likely line up in front of those twenty one people. This there year, go. And we gonna see if we there see go. If better than me. There so. it go. Like we be looking. That's the answer we be looking for. When I bring that up, yeah. I be looking for uh, some type of variation of the answer being there's not X amount of players in front yeah, of me. So that's it's, okay, if y'all think. It's 21 people in, And then also I think I'm realistic Like okay That's just Illinois mm -hmm. So if like If y'all think it's just 21 people in Illinois I gotta do something Very quick to change that If I wanna make my dream <laughs> If I wanna make my dreams True for real Because like That's like just that. Illinois So it's I like, like that. It's so many other states It's so many other areas People from overseas G League All mm -hmm. that So it's like If y'all think that that's if that's just the city, I got to do something real quick and real fast and make it not a doubt. Shout out, Dom. So, I, like so. I, I, I like that shit, bro. I'm not going to lie. Um, when we talk about uh, your recruitment, what schools have you heard from and what schools have officially offered? Uh, officially offered NIU, St. Louis, Cleveland State, and Yale. Okay. So that was the official offer. Um, since I started playing Mean Streets, I heard from uh, Temple. Um Nah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you should go there since so I'm from Philly. But go ahead. Will went. I heard from. I been. I heard from Temple. I heard from uh, Brown, another Ivy League, um, Princeton. Um, so there's three Ivy Leagues if anyone's counting. Yeah, uh, UC UC Davis, UC Santa Clara. Okay. Um, like Evanston, Bryan. It's like you know, like the the mid majors, um, Appalachian State. Okay. You know, so that's uh, that's who I've been. Loyola. Um, those are a few schools um, that's been showing interest. Have you gone on um, any visits yet? Nah, my f I think my first visit will be to Yale. Okay. Like, I should be going to, like, late September. Um, so, what are you looking for in a school and a coach? Um, coach, um, it's crazy. They ask me the same thing. Like, I just – I tell them, like, I'm I'm pretty simple. Like, I ain't – I don't need y'all to, like, <laughs> baby me. Like, I don't need none, like, none pretty much handed to me. I just want to know, like, I got a fair shot to mm -hmm. be effective. Mm -hmm. And – like as far as winning, because if you ain't no power five so called school, you gonna have to win to make a name. Like that's how I, that's how I pretty much drama and rants. Like all the like underdogs, like mm -hmm. we gotta win. We have to be able to match to get up. the name out there. Yeah, we yeah. gotta be able to yeah. match up. Like don't nobody care if you putting up fifty and you losing. So like mm -hmm. that's all I be. Um, if, do I got a chance to compete? And do I have to? Do we have a chance to compete? And do I have? To, am I gonna be? Am I? Do I have the ability to be a reason of that? So. Okay. That's um, what's been the best and the not so best part of the recruiting process. Um, the best part is like, like I said, like my dad taking up, like he told me to take the positive out the negative. Um, as far as like being coming from Limbo, I'm like I'm I'm the um, first D one recruit in out of like the school twenty some in okay like 20 -some since our since our like previous like leading score okay. Um, shout out to my dean, the dean now. Oh, so the, um, the previous leading scorer is the dean Dane, of the school? Yeah, he right, be, that's pretty and he dope. Know, so, um, yeah, he was, like, last one. I think he ended up – I think he went to, like, some school, then he went to Loyola for a bit, but um, that was that. But, like, he'd be like, you know, bro, you're getting D1 offers out of your school. Like, you didn't – you you decided to take the untraditional route, you know, put on for yourself mm -hmm. for real. So, it's mm -hmm. like, bro, like – and he was, like, especially now with D1 as far as, like, transfer portal. Mm -hmm. If people think you can play D1, that's, like, a – that's and and them top schools are going to come at you. Yeah, and you've been maining, you've been remaining loyal to. Yeah, them. so, so he was like, just like, bro, you, you, um, you just like, bro, you, you able people think you can play D one. In this time, was the transfer portal like they can take a twenty three year old, they can take a twenty two year old that's out the portal, out, mm -hmm. out the portal, and got the college experience. So it's like mm -hmm. you doing that out of limb bloom. So it's like that's that's that be the um biggest thing that helped me stay grounded. But of course. I see somebody like I uh, play with or played against that I might have outplayed and then receive like an offer that's like that used to drive me crazy. That's um that's like he will get it. I'm I'm most definitely happy for you, bro. Like I I've been happy for them. Like I show love, but also I am in the back of my mind like what does he do better than mm -hmm. me? Like mm -hmm. it just the natural a uh, basketball is competitive, so it's like that would be the like the downfall. Like oh, and then also like it's most definitely like coaches that are um. Show the interest, then it's like you can see her dwindling mm -hmm. off. So mm -hmm. it's like that. That that's another thing. But it's like you just gotta roll with the punches. So like the big that was the um I say like 
bad side of recruiting, but all, all it is is feel like okay, like I hope I get to see y'all when my mm-hmm. when my college gets to play. Right, 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 right. right. I, I, I remember that you yeah. started. Now you stopped, and uh-huh, yeah, for sure. I, 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 um, Xavier used to be the one who kept me because I was kind of like your dad a little bit, mm-hmm. but. And I and, and I never want to be someone who's like talking about somebody's kid, yeah. but like I used to think that I, like I'm happy to see the kid getting the opportunity or the offer, but I'm like, but well, what? They smoked his ass, like, and what is he doing differently? And da 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 da. Yeah. And Zay used to be like, I, I'm like, yo, that don't bother you? And he'd be like, nah, like, <laughs> what's for me is for me. Like he used to be so relaxed, and I used to be so like yeah. wound up, like, what? Why, why the fuck nobody would ever, whatever for him? Mm-hmm. So like, no, nah, I, I definitely understand that. Um, for your upcoming season, what's some of your goals? I've seen that uh, you hit the 1K mark already. Yeah. So what's some of your um, other goals coming I mean, into the season? One of the, one of my goals is of course the breaking the record, but um, it's like if I average like 20 points for the first five games, I break it. So it's like it's one of those goals. So you gonna break the record? I'm gonna break the record. What's so the record? It's, uh, it's like I want to say like. 13, 1300. Okay. That, that's for my dean, too. So okay. He'd be talking about, like, yeah, I'm going to present it to you, all that that's, type of stuff. That, here, so. Knowing that that you're that close and that's a pretty attainable goal, yeah. when that happens, how do you think that's going to be? Um, I'm going to be excited because, like, a lot of, like, I know a lot of people ain't going to be able to say, yeah, I'm the leading scorer at my school. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and then what I think about is, like, I really don't know, like, how it's going to go, but, like, It'd be kind of cool if they put like the jersey and all the time score up there while we still playing in the season. So like if people come to the gym and they, they can see, see your jersey, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> so that that would kind of be the the fun part to me. But um, that's just one of the goals. Like man, like I hear I hear the outside noise. So it's like everybody just be like, oh yeah, he can score, he can score, he can score. Like my biggest thing is like, okay, yeah, I averaged twenty seven, whatever last year. If I average like twenty. 24 like even my numbers drop but we like win I, like as far as like winning the city like we had a winning record but i'm like trying to actually win something like mm-hmm. put something in the truck so it's like whatever i can do to like contribute to winning like i'm most i'm really most excited about how much better i got defensively okay and the much better i got rebounding and you know able to like just do intangibles outside of scoring to make us better and i hope i can like um Get that bug to go across everybody where we can just be this like defensive, defensive like juggernaut because like that's just effort, right? So it's like if if I can like just teach them from what mean streets and what like the like those elite playing against those elite levels of like little tips and tricks to learn how to be a better defensive player, like so I just really I just want to win. Like, Since you brought that up, um, obviously you you've had to put in the work and you said something that is very simple, but uh. Uh, like like prophecy wise, yeah. effort. Oh yeah. Who do you attribute that to? Like helping you put that effort in. Like um, you got to put the work in. But who do you attribute that to? To um, kind of like getting behind you and pushing you. Like yo, yeah. let's go, let's go, let's go. In general, in general, just like from a shorty, like bro, my dad, and um, he was just always kept it. A, he always kept it a hundred. Like, like I hit like workout, hit three shots in a row, hit hit three shots like pull ups. He's like, all right, bro, you keep you keep not going game speed. You're going to be looking stupid while it's not working in the game. Mm-hmm. So it'd be like little subtle stuff. It's like, all right. Then it's like he also was like used to play mind games with me. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, like, like say like I'm 22. Oh, yeah. They say they say so-and-so. They say so-and-so number seven. Like there's little <laughs> stuff to like, – because he know I'm competitive. Mm-hmm. So he always like just find a way to get under my skin to push me. Even like in quarantine, like they took all the rims down. Like he – he was like, all right, we was getting up. Him and my uncle, they was they was getting me up at like, you know, eight in the morning. We we just finna run two we finna run twice around the um the park. Mm-hmm. Park by my house and we finna like do push ups, pull ups, pull ups on a monkey bars. Like mm-hmm. that's our that was our mm-hmm. gym. That was our gym routine. Then we'd just play the game all day. So I was like Just making sure you got yeah, some some yeah. type of physical activity. Do, do, yeah, do yeah. something. Like we just not finna just sit down. Like it's other other people still getting better, so just him, him pushing me. Also, like my my uncles, my my cousins, just like them all being around. Just you know, like, bro, like, if this is what you want to do, this is what you say you want to do. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. So, so, you, so safe to say, you got a a pretty tight knit circle. Oh yeah, for sure. Did your dad play? Yeah. What well, high school he went? He to? He went to Julian. But like, he went to um. Okay. Went, with Shout Doc, out to uh, with Steve, Sean, pa- Steve know, Parham is the coach with, over there now. With, um, now, was Doc. your dad any good? Yeah, he was. Um, he wasn't like. 
He he won you. He, I he wasn't so called me in high school, but he had like he had a role like he was on. Like, okay. I saw clips also. I seen like bro, he was like he only my dad only like five eight. Super, okay, super stocky had gotcha. ba- had gotcha. bounce. So like, but he played with um Sean Dark All American. Um, oh yeah, they, okay. They played against LeBron. So like, and then also like all the stuff he learned from like the uh, his coach, Coach um Jack. Yeah, like that's at Victory Rock now. Like, okay. he, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he always just tell me like little stuff, and like the training wise, like it really helped me for sure. So like, and he uh, he went to uh, North Park, hooped up there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with um, North Park. So, who um, who you? Who, two questions. Who do you get your height from? And if you and your dad play one on one, who wins, bro? Honestly, it, keep it right. Away. Right now, he's he's toast. He's toast. <laughs> right now, he, like he gonna see this, he know it. I'm not gonna lie. He 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 beat he beat me the last he beat me the last game seven to six. I was up six nothing. I tried to tried to like do a little finger roll, lay jagged. He ran off. I let him shoot. Hit like he can shoot. So it's like I you know I let him win. And he said he never playing me again. So but like before that I was like thrashing him. And my dad's also competitive. So he's like he kept. I'm like bro like you five eight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you old, you slow. I'm more athletic than you. Like, come on, bro, just chalk it up. I end up letting him get in that last one. But my height, most definitely, my mom. My mom like six feet. Okay. And um, like I say, it kind of like like my mom. She got she got big feet, big hands. Okay. Like she's just a, a bigger woman. Did she play ball? No. Nah, she nah? she used to play volleyball. Okay. Okay. She, she went to Winnie Young. Your mom gonna kick your ass for saying she got big feet too. By the way, <laughs> nah, just she, just just a know, FYI, just a she FYI, know. mom. I I didn't ask, <laughs> I didn't prompt nah, him to say that. I mean, I'm just to be honest. That's why I get like all my my, okay. my big feet. From, okay. like, also, like my grandma, she's like she from down south, so like they okay. got, like the you know bigger hands, bigger feet. Right, 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 right. Because I used to show I when I was him my gross bro. Like I had to think about like bro, like pops like <laughs> five eight like. <laughs> Like what, right. what is coming from? Yeah, where it's coming? All right, all right, chill, <laughs> chill, chill. Yeah, all right. Uh, if you could play with any player in the state right now, who would it be and why? Play with, and it don't matter if they came to Limbloom or you went to where they at. Like if uh, you could play with any, if player. they could come to Limbloom, probably Calvin from Kenwood, bro. Like, Calvin Robinson. <laughs> just his ha- athleticism, like bro, like good kid, man. I just know if like, like I play with athletic dudes and like. I played with some athletic um, guys. Like I was at, even at the camp. I was playing with this ultra athletic dude, but like for some reason, like he just he couldn't catch logs. But if you give him the ball, he he dunk on you. Mm-hmm. But it was something different. Like bro, Calvin, he can he could catch anything in the vicinity. Mm-hmm. So like if I could just know, like you throw it up, there. I throw it up. He gonna put it down. Like that's probably a great feeling to play with somebody that just much of an energy guy. And also like I know for sure, like somebody that athletic just gonna bring you energy mm-hmm. and all that type of mm-hmm. stuff. Like, okay. Um, when you think about uh, high school and the EYB on the circuit, who has guarded you the best? Guarding me the best, probably. I had the worst. Okay, EYBL probably guarding me the best, and I it kind of comes from probably my my better games when I was getting guarded the best. My my I say like my first session against like the the Florida Rebels, they played like really good D, and it was like. They was one of like the taller, longer teams. Like every every they, it was Everybody. pretty much just wings all across. Got you, like, got you, got you. Guard, um, them guarding me. They pretty. They was um, and then team final at Peace Jam. Philly, Philly yeah. in the house. Yeah. Okay. All right. They, show they, Philly they, some they, respect. They, um, as far as like the defense, like they had this like real good guard that was just like. Am I Bynum? Uh, I mean not Bynum. I'm sorry. Am I Newell? Nah, he. That's he. Um, he's. Yeah, but the other guy, the other guy was guarding me, gotcha, Rob, gotcha. Rob, um, like Robert Wright. Am I just committed to uh, UConn. UConn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying um, to get him on the show. His he, guy, uh, his 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 guy that kind of you know handles his situation. Yeah. Um, is, is is my dude Tashika. Yeah. So on the the um the guard guarding me, he was just it was more like you know just um he was smaller than me, and I also I always do have trouble with um smaller guards by me being a little taller Mm-mm. and then like. As far as you know, you just got to get low, all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that was the best, um, like one of the better um, defensive um, games. But I say in the city, it was probably one of my better games. It was either St. Lawrence because they was playing, they was just like sending three at me. Yeah, EJ like this, and all that. This yeah. was the time. This was the time. It was like, all right, bro, like he's averaging thirty. We not finna let him get yeah, thirty. So yeah, they yeah. was like, so and it was a state playoffs. It was that, and then probably Morgan Park the second time. When we played them and um, 
in the what's it called it in the city playoffs because they played a boxing one. Mm -hmm. So like, um, that was like one of the first the first that was like a, uh, one of uh, first and few only boxing ones I had got the whole year surprisingly. So I was like, and did no, I'm lying, Simeon. Simeon, I ain't gonna lie, they kind of shut me down. They um so the first the first half I had like sixteen, and uh, the second the second half I probably had like two points. Mm. Like I, I I know I, I fouled out in like the fourth quarter, for sure, but they was playing like they was playing initially they was playing like a a, a man to man, but when I cross half they sent two at me, mm. but then they started playing the zone. But I'm like if you go like they went zone, so I'm like yes like mm -hmm. I'm I'm finna shoot. It was like a zone, but like it was like a matchup zone where they just like wherever mm -hmm. I went, like shoot a shoot a shoot a shoot a shoot, like mm -hmm. wherever I went. So it was like they they ain't really let me get no space to shoot. So okay, um, who has been your toughest person to guard so far? Um, toughest person probably the dude from Team Final because super quick, but like you also like you not knowing. On that circle, like you don't know people games, so it's like you got it. Like in the city, you kind of know right, who right, people right, is. Right, you know right. what they do. That kid, like we did scouting report, but it was like it's you out there, so it's like it's different from the um, scout report. Uh, Defensively, been out there, but he just like he was super quick and also like, like I said, like he had a like he had a like super nice floater game. Mm -hmm. So it was like uh, he getting past him like oh yeah off the off the glass, he would just like put it off the glass floater. So it's like it was just like you know real real mm -hmm. guard stuff. So it was like I had to get used to guard now. Of course, I'm about to get um. Dede his props from um from Kenwood. Kenwood. Okay. He like I've been playing playing against him like since we was like seventh grade. Like I've been I played with him played against him at eight apart. I was a seven, he was eighth, and he was just like ultra smooth. And I'm like, it's no way. Me and my dad was like, no way in eighth grade. Just always smooth, always just carry himself mm -hmm. like a top guard. So it was like he gave me um the troubles, but we always used to just, you know, go go at it. But yeah, he was um as far as the city wise, he was like one of the toughest guards. Um, who was barbecue chicken? Who you give buckets to? Team and team player. Player, that's crazy. You, uh, uh, team first. I'm gonna go team. Team since I had a, I had my um, career high on them was North Lawndale. What you got? Forty three in the okay. playoffs. Okay. Just, we lost though. Um, I was giving them buckets like I wasn't. I wasn't really missing too much. It was just like. You know, just one of them games was just clicking. It was right. just everything was clicking. Right. Pull up, threes, layups. You know, everything was just clicking. So I say team. Um, player? I can't even, like, think. Um, I'd probably say it's, for, like, multiple multiple perspectives. Okay. Because it was a few times my boy Tim, we played one out together. Tim was guarding me. They had Swiss, like, uh, walk. Jaquim Jaquim was guarding me. Okay. That's when I really started getting buzzed when I had thirty eight and we had beat them. So it was like it was like three guys that had that was guarding me that whole game and it was just like and I was just feeling it. It was like nothing they could do. <laughs> so I, I say that I I ain't gonna say it was baby player, but it was like it was kinda a combination of all those. Okay. Guys. All right. Uh name your all time favorite NBA. So five starters, one six man. Five starters. I'm gonna have to go with Steph at the one. Okay. I don't want to leave carry out, but I'm at the I'm gonna go T Mac at the two. Okay. T Mac at the two. I need like first time somebody T Mac. Brian at the three. Brian at the three. Okay. KG at the four. Okay. We might have one, Bo. The first one. KG at the four. Mm. Between Hakeem and Shaq, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Shaq at the five. Okay, who your six man coming off the bench? Oh, oh no, we need. I need a guard. I'm gonna have to go with um, go with Kyrie off the bench. Okay, we should have some confetti. This is the first one. What we should have had the first one. So you're the first person that's been on here that I asked that question to that didn't name Mike. Oh no, and you can get in some trouble in Chicago. My I dad, my dad gonna be like, bro, you might, but it ain't. It ain't even like that. <laughs> I, 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 this, this is your, I, I this think is Mike your team. Go. I think might the go. This is your team. So mine's is AI, Kobe, Jordan, LeBron. I do have Hakeem okay. and Jamal Crawford coming off the bench. Coming off the bench. See, like my dad gonna be like, you ain't say Mike. That's cause I, I probably I put T Mac at the two. So like we're gonna be long. 
Okay. All right. Um, I, my next question I actually asked in the beginning, but I definitely want to confirm again that you were definitely going to come to our showcase I'll on the 28th. All right, October cool. October 28th. October 28th right. is at the Green Put Street Gym. Um, so far, we have confirmed. I don't even know if I should say who we have confirmed so far, but we have two good players so uh, far. Say that later. Say don't that later. say it? All right, cool. We got two great players um, already confirmed, and we're going to do 30 total. So you would be number three. So now I need 27 more players. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Um, last two questions. Number one, well, one is a question, one is a statement. Statement that I want you to make. Um, I'm Muslim, okay. And in Islam, we believe that our children pick us as parents. Mm. All right. Hearing that, what does it mean to know that you pick your mother and father as your parents? Talk about what they and family mean to you. Um, family is very important. Like you know, all family got their uh, ups and downs. You know, like it's just natural. Like everybody's human. And uh, I take that. I take my family very serious because I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be where I'm at without them. Like. Like, like even when I think about like people that have issues with their mom and the parents, I'm like, bro, like if it wasn't because of them, like you wouldn't, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be here. So I was like, like I take, I take um everything into like, you know, I look at it different than I say kids my age, like bro, like my lights on, I can shower, like even little stuff, like yeah, I might not got all the designer that everybody else got, but like I got what I need, mm-hmm. and I and I get certain stuff that I want, and also like. Just like my family, like I, I, I really appreciate my pops because, as far as basketball, like it's real, it's really time consuming, and especially like bro, like I don't know as a parent, it's like I'm having fun, but like bro, like he just gotta watch, he just, you know, like just look, like I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't really thought, I never thought about it till like a minute ago, like he just watching, he pretty much spending money and watching for yeah. his son, and it's like I'm having fun because I'm, I'm playing, all that type of stuff, but like mm-hmm. I ain't never put in his presence, like. He ain't playing it's like you know, mm-hmm. and he's like, spending money. He he's spending money. He's like, he's encouraging, but like he's encouraging. He also like um, like kind of like inspirational. You know how to like get, get what I get out get get out of me what I need. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. just like all the stuff that you like want as far as like trying to be the best at your sport because like I know for a fact when it comes to basketball, my sister said basketball, like. Even the success I had and the success I will have, it most definitely like had to be like a hundred percent to my pop because just like all the all the sacrifices he made, all the stuff he done, just just so I can, you know, play, you know, live out your dream playing yeah. the game, for sure. Um, we 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 believe in Islam that paradise, heaven, mm-hmm. lies at the feet of our parents, okay, so, uh, particularly our mother. So, um, the fact Explain that you, that. Uh, so what that means is that when it comes time. For you to be judged, okay, um, to get into paradise, of course, all of your, all of the stuff that you've done over your life will mm. be considered uh-huh. in that pot. Um, but like how you treat your parents, how you talk to your parents, yeah. how you, you know that whole relationship is a highly determining factor okay, okay, in okay. that. So like, that. you know, for us, like our mother, my father passed away in 2010, but our mother, particularly now, is a is a huge. Um, I mean, she's more than a matriarch of our family. Mm-hmm. Like, we are very indebted to our parents. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, I had my brother up here last week. And so, you know, we kind of talked a little bit. My mom was a very, she doesn't realize, sometimes she does, but sometimes she doesn't realize how much she has poured into us to all of us being as successful as we are. Yeah. Like, you know, my brother and sister, my, my brother and his wife, they're, you know, famous R&B singers. My brother that just was up here, he's a, a famous comedian. Mm-hmm. I have a sister who lives in California who's a professional, <laughs> like, professional wine drinker like that's her job <laughs> taster. taster i have a another sister who um she has created and started an organization called black men hill which it offers uh free uh mental health services to black men she's mm. been on the breakfast club um this whole organization has kind of has kind of taken off and i'm encouraging her to, to start it out here yeah um, and then my other sister, she is a um, she's a teacher. Okay. Um, so like all of my brothers and sisters, um, and even my brother Yusuf and my brother Yasin, but all of my brothers and sisters are successful. Mm-hmm. And if anything, I'm the black sheep. I'm the one that has you know has had trouble with the law. I didn't you know finish college. I just but I'm still doing successful things yeah. in, in the work that I do. And, and and of course, so our parents are very important. Yeah, for sure. Are uh, very important. All right. So my last uh, thing that we have everybody do up here is I want you to send yourself a future message and I want you to speak in third person. Um, future message. Um, what would I say? It's kind of tough. 
Um, future mentor. I probably just always always stay true to yourself, you know. So when um, you say give your message, t- talk to yourself, J- Jay Sean. Uh, Jay Sean, be you. Stay true to yourself. Don't let nobody change you. Um, no matter how the how um highs the highs and lows and lows, don't let don't let it um you know affect you. Always stay you. Like stay the um soft spoken. Nice person that you are. Don't let nobody like change, change your morale. Be like, and, and be great. Okay. All right. Um. So shout out to you, brother. I I really appreciate. It. This has been a pleasure talking to you. Um. Thank you. You know, just like I said, seeing you on social media and and and, and reaching out to you. I, I really appreciate you coming up here. I, we appreciate all of our guests, but a lot of times you get a chance to talk to people that gives you a different perspective, regardless of what your perspective was, yeah. positive or negative. And I didn't have a negative one. I just didn't know you. Mm-hmm. And so talking to you, like, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm 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 very very thoroughly impressed. I I don't want to do what white people does to our black children. Like, oh, you speak so well. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that shit. But you are very articulate. You 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 are very Appreciate mature. It. Like some of the answers that you gave to some of these questions, like I, I wasn't expecting. And sometimes we expect one word. And I I ask my questions expecting one word answer so I can just jump to the next one. But you like yeah. you know pulled on a lot of different things and um you showed a side of yourself that that is very 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 impressive as a Thank young you. man I so good luck to you in the rest of the summer enjoy this time off until school starts yeah. back up because the grind get ready to start back up and your senior year is gonna go by fast and it's gonna go by fast yeah. it's gonna be a blast too bro i hope so yeah it's gonna be a blast so and shout out to your mother and father they did they, they are doing an excellent job with um you and your siblings obviously Thank you. Thank so you. Um, all right, we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Exposure Runs, the podcast. Um, shout out to my guy, Bo Harris, sitting across from me, our producer, AGM Plus, uh, Goldmine TV, my guy, uh, Tyree, uh, numerous, uh, Tyree Booker, obviously Derek Ellison. Um, those two guys have been, what well, are the reason why Exposure Runs is even in existence. And then my partner. Uh, I always mention the Shot town Showcase, but I never mm. mention my partner, Ryan Foran. He is a huge Illinois uh, loyalist, um, but uh, he is the reason for the Shot Town Showcase, and we partnered together. and And this event is going to be bigger and better this year. And it was big last year. Like, we just kind of won it last year. Didn't know what the hell we were doing, and it turned out to be great. So this year is going to be even better. Um, and this has become the unofficial start to the basketball season. So, yeah. all right, y'all. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Thank you uh, for watching. Appreciate it.